and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come so when you see standing in the holy place that abomination that causes the solution spoken of through the prophet daniel let the reader understand then let those who are in judea flee to the mountains let no one on the housetop go down to take anything out of the house let no one in the field go back to get their clothes how dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers pray that your flight will not take place in winter or on the sabbath for then there will be great distress unequaled from the beginning of the world until now and never to be equaled again if those days had not been cut short no one will survive but for the sake of the elect those days will be shortened at that time if anyone says to you look here is the messiah or there he is do not believe it for false messiah and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive if possible even the elect see i have told you ahead of time so if anyone tells you there he is out in the wilderness do not go out or here he is in the inner rooms do not believe it for as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west so will it be the coming of the son of man wherever there is a carcass there the vultures will gather immediately after the distress of those days the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light the stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken then will appear the son of the son of man in heaven and then all the people of the earth will mourn when they see the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other Greetings, guys. It is me here with a message of the kingdom of heaven. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, so we are continuing. We're speaking about a beast, and last time we were seeing him from the eyes of Daniel, from the eyes of the prophet Daniel. So here we're seeing him from the eyes of our Lord, you know, because it's also speaking about the same thing, you know, because what we are concentrating on with the beast, there are so many kingdoms, guys. Uh, if you go back to the last time, you'll find that there were three kingdoms before the one we're talking about the one we are dealing with which is the fourth kingdom you know the very powerful one the very powerful one that is able to trample under feet anything anything th that is come across anything that is lost and we we're saying that the last time that he will defeat you know the saints of the most high you understand so when uh we are given in to him do not take his beliefs be like prophet daniel you know we're going to be using him because he was very good he was actually a very good example you know when the israelites were taken captive by nebuchadnezzar you understand uh they were trying to force them to have their own beliefs but daniel would say i rather die than do that i will stick by my god's uh, beliefs you understand so you do that so it's not fair it's not right when people are taken captives and then they give in you understand you see guys we are not secluded like the israelites because jesus you know uh he 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 now wants to get all his sheep you understand and they are scattered to the, throughout the end of the earth you understand so there is no way we can be secluded because in every nation you'll find a remnant of jesus in every nation there is uh, an elect of jesus a remnant indeed but you will find them you understand so we are scattered throughout the earth there is no way we we can be excluded i mean uh secluded but the beliefs of jesus if we can all have the beliefs of jesus you understand not the beliefs of churches mm -mm, but the beliefs of jesus that is why i was speaking about what churches are doing so that you will be careful you will be aware of what is happening of what the beast is doing you understand but if you have the beliefs of jesus that's why i keep saying the word is the only source the bible guys is the only source of information about the kingdom of jesus you understand so if we going to uh take the beliefs of jesus you know that guys the beast will not touch you just accept the truth accept that the, the things that jesus says about you the beast will not get you you understand so uh daniel was speaking about him the fact that he's so powerful that he trampled underfoot anything that was left and the um, the saints of the most high if you read the whole chapter you'll find that they will be given in to uh to uh, i mean i mean they, they will be given uh into him you understand but just because guys we are given into nebuchadnezzar it doesn't mean that we should uh give in to his beliefs you understand you can continue with the beliefs of jesus continue with the beliefs of the kingdom of heaven you understand 
because he his kingdom is the everlasting one his kingdom is the everlasting one just like daniel showed us you know daddy did it on, on purpose to reveal uh, to to make daniel you know give it like that like a revelation and jesus and paul they are explaining it and then john is also giving us a, a revelation just like the prophet daniel you understand so so that you will see from their point of view and it's the same thing the same thing so jesus is saying that for then there will be great distress unequaled from the beginning of the world until now and never to be equaled again you understand so in those days guys it's going to be so powerful this beast is going to be so powerful he says that in verse 22 if those days had not been cut short no one will survive but for the sake of the elect those days will be shortened you understand so jesus is, is, is actually recognizing the strength of this beast that it is so strong that it will defeat everyone you remember guys that it was given authority over every tribe over every nation over every language you find that in revelation 12 you know so because of that satan speaks to all of us he's speaking to everyone he, 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 he. If you be, uh, believe in Jesus and maybe you obey him after getting saved, Satan will speak to you as well. Why? He's given that authority. You understand? So Jesus is saying that if those days had not been cut short, no one would survive because of the power, because of the strength. He says that... Uh, false prophets and and, and and false messiah will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive if possible even the elect even the elect you understand if possible even the elect now why would jesus say it's false prophet and false uh messiah it's because these are the people who are the body of christ no one can call themselves a messiah unless they will claim uh certain things or most if not 80 percent of the things written in the bible about them in other words they will also appear as people who believe in the bible you understand and then false prophets meaning these are the people who will be believing in the word these are the people who will be quoting from the word these are the people who will be calling on the name of jesus that's why i made the series about the beast wars to the churches because I wanted you to be careful with that because the, the peace the guys is coming from uh, churches. The peace the guys will come through, you know, will, will come through or will come from the churches. So once you are able to uh, see, detect, discern, you know, the beast you will be fine Th that is why i made that series you understand so jesus says false prophet they will perform great signs and wonders in fact nowadays i'm not sure if there's any pastor who performs these um, wonders and miracles from the holy spirit i i don't I, I don't believe there is i really really don't believe there is you understand because you see what they do is they preach riches and monies and and prosperity and and, and then perform these um wonders and, and, and great signs that will tell you that this is not a prophet from god so satan will give them so much power so much so much because he's really into business he wants to make sure that he takes as many as possible with him you understand because his time is short you understand so jesus here is confirming as well the same things that daniel was talking about they are all speaking they are all focusing on the last beast the very powerful one the one that is able to deceive because if he uses the church he knows that no one will believe i mean guys if you see this building with a cross you go in and you find the bible you like i found a church you understand you are not realizing even when you hear the, these pastors having their own beliefs that contradict the word you are not even realizing that them something is not right here because to you you're seeing the bible and you're seeing this cross you know in this building and you think this is it you understand so jesus is making sure that you understand that the beast is actually using churches you need to be careful that's why i speak so much uh about churches because the beast is using that you will expect the beast to come from clubs no the beast is not going to come from clubs because he knows that we'll never expect him to you know guys i don't know if you understand he, he guys he satan knows that we expect jesus in churches we expect jesus uh, opening churches and reading the word 
you know, we don't expect him. So he uses the churches and preach exactly what is contrary. You understand? So it's important you, that you get that because this fourth beast is the most powerful one. All of them are actually speaking about this beast. You understand? And even in Jesus' time, the beast was busy because you realize, guys, if you go back to Daniel, you'll find that there were three and then the fourth one. So obviously, there were more uh, kingdoms back then because guys you understand that satan took over right there in the beginning so things happened you understand but we are concentrating on the last one because this is the one we are dealing with now what i want to pay attention uh, to is the fact that immediately after the distress of those days the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light the stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken then will appear the sign of a son of man in heaven and then all peoples of the earth will mourn when they see the sun of men coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he will send his angel with a loud trumpet call and they will gather his elects from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other so what we are getting here guys is that satan will actually i mean what we are getting here guys is that uh jesus is the one who will stop this this is the same thing we were talking about with daniel that the courts were opened you understand and then the ancient of days you know so here jesus is saying the same thing that his coming will get rid of satan so these beast guys don't pray him out don't pray don't fast don't waste your time guys if these guys don't waste your time in short just don't waste your time you understand don't pray that this thing goes away don't go to your church and pray that Satan stops speaking. He will not stop speaking. Jesus says it's going to happen. Guys, if Jesus says it's going to happen, then it must happen. You just need to be careful. You just That's why I've been warning you. I've been giving you warnings, telling you about the beast. So you don't pray that thing out. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. You know, guys, uh, I've heard uh, the government is trying to take over the churches because they realize that uh, pastors are busy ripping people off so the government you know is angry with what is happening in fact they think it's jesus ripping people off and now guys have explained a lot of things that jesus is, is that does not even care about money he doesn't even love money you know so i've spoken about those things he's not even the one who created man money did not come from his kingdom you know so i was explaining all of those things so that you would understand it because the government is really trying to get in to churches because they realize that pastors are busy ripping people off you understand and some uh christians i don't know if they mean well or they're just faking it but they are holding night vigils they are trying to pray to get rid of satan and they try to go from one church to the next one church to the next getting rid of satan and in my mind it's like who you how can you do that how would you see that the mere fact that you are going about I mean, you are going about trying to get rid of this. It tells me that you don't read the word. Jesus said this is going to happen. And nothing is going to stop him from happening. But it's the coming. You know, it's the breath of his coming that will get rid of this. If you had read the word, you would understand that this thing is not going anywhere. Why waste your time pray going from this place to the next place to stop something that will not actually end? That will be, uh, guys, that will be ended by Jesus. I mean, I mean, guys, hello, we need to read the word, you understand? So Jesus is saying, my coming, immediately after the distress of those days, because he says that this thing has never happened, and he says that, uh, for then there will be great distress, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again, you understand? And if those days had not been cut short, no one will survive. But for the sake of the elect, those days would be shortened. So Jesus would come in order to save the elect because he wants to save the elect. He's interested in the elect. That's why he says that he will send his angel to, you know, uh, with a loud uh, trumpet call and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. You understand? So Jesus will get rid of that. I need you guys to understand don't pray it out the beast will not is not going anywhere just because i'm speaking about him like this doesn't mean it's going to go anywhere read the word at the end of the day guys i am wrong you are wrong the word is right so you take the word don't pray for something that will never be answered thank you guys so now i want us to go to uh paul thank you